record. Yep. Hello, I'm Karen from Kitchen Table Games, joined by Chris again from Kitchen Table Games. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're just playing a game of magic. I don't really know what to class this one as, because my cards are in standard. Oh, yours is yeah, as well. So it's a standard yeah, game. Yeah. Uh, I've made this deck with the um, reminiscence of playing 8-rack, um, so it is a discard Don't deck. Um, it's not the best, but it does amuse me when it works. Um, so, we had a comment on another video saying, didn't really understand what was going on, so we'll try and explain a little bit better uh, what happens. So. One person goes first, and whoever goes first um, doesn't draw a card. Uh, you can play one land per turn, unless a card specifies otherwise. Um, and then you get a main phase, an attack phase, and a main phase. Um, and then you end your turn. Now the thing in Magic is that there's a thing called the stack. Now I won't go into it fully because I still don't understand it properly. It's a very confusing game. Um, so basically one person will do something, the other person may have the opportunity to react. If they can react, they can do so. If they don't want to react, they just pass it. it goes back to the person's turn. And then vice versa through all the turns until you beat somebody's life total from 20 down to zero. Um, cool. So well, we'll play on and just explain what, how we're playing it go along a bit better, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, as you can see in my hand, I have lands. There are five basic land types. Um, or is it six if you include wastes? Um, uh, yeah, six if you include wastes. So. Six if you include wastes, but don't worry, wastes are very, very rare. Um, so, yeah, so there's swamps. Plains, islands, mountains, and forests. Uh, swamps are black, mountains are red, forests are green, plains are white, and islands are blue. Um, yeah. So on the cards, as you can see at the top, they will have a mana cost. Now, say if you played a deck with multiple colours, you could pay any of them colours for the grey number, but you'd have to pay the symbol. So as I have a two and a black, I would have to pay two of any colour and one black swamp um, to play that card. I'm going to play Torch Courier, and then I'm going to go to combat. So if I had blockers, I could try and block a creature, or I could ignore it and just take two damage, in this case. And as I'm playing a nasty deck, let's get rid of some cards. Uh, so this is this is where the stack comes into it. So let's play the spell. Um, because I've got an instant speed spell, I can cast that in a response. And what happens then is my spell goes above Kieran's, so mine resolves first, and then Kieran's spell will resolve. Oh, and this is where the mono red deck gets punished for pulling all lands. But you still have two creatures on the board, so I'm still currently winning. Um, play this dude. Nice. Yeah, it was to try and balance some sort of card draw into the deck. Oh, and that was the worst thing that you could have played, so... Yeah. Cavalade. Uh, Cavalade. Calamity. Yeah, so whenever a creature he controls attacks with power one or less, um, Calamity deals one damage to player or planeswalker. So if he had a planeswalker and he attacked the planeswalker... Uh, I do want to sack it. Hmm. There's a creature less on the board. I'll do that. I'll take it. So, because this creature, when it dies, deals one damage to a creature, that's talk one damage, he can then ping it, and then my creature dies. It's a draw card. 
so yes that is true so what I could do here is I think I'll play this to gain a life because that's her ability on the card so whenever a black creature enters the battlefield under my control my opponent loses life and I gain life and her ability is to tap and sack another creature and I draw a card I'm going to go to combat. Right. So this either means you have a pump spell. Have you ever seen a pump spell in this deck? In red decks, yeah. Or it's a shock. One of the two. Yeah. No? It's, Just... um, I wanted the surveil trigger. Ooh. Ooh. No, that's interesting. Yeah, um, light of the stage, it exiles the top two cards of his library until the end of the next turn, he can cast those. So they are in exile, but he can cast those, that's why we can see them. Um, and I will play a planeswalker, so planeswalkers are <laughs> a bit different to creatures. Um, sorry, I was just thinking about what to do. Um, yeah, no, that's fine. So yeah, so Planeswalkers are a bit different. They're its own entity, so you would need cards to specifically target Planeswalkers or... Yeah, oh, uh, to no, deal with them. Um, I'm now going to get punished for not playing Tandra last turn. I mean, you still get the... Yeah, but you're playing you're playing discard, aren't you? I am playing discard. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. But the card in my hand is probably going to disappear. I know, but that is three damage because I can only block one of them. I mean, it's a bit rough for you now because I'm going to kill you, Planeswalker. Seems fair. I've still got a blocker if you do that. Oh, you're aiming for the pencil, okay, yeah. Yes. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes, because Murderous Rider has two abilities. It's an adventure. I think it's the first time it's printed this. Yeah. Um, so you have a spell on this side, and then the creature's stats on this side. So I can cast it from exile, but well, the graveyard, and it becomes a 2 free lifelink creature. Um, but because I'm playing a horrible deck. I think isn't the adventure mechanic separate? Does it go? Doesn't it go to like the command zone when it goes onto an adventure? It, no, it goes. Yeah, it. it goes to its own little zone, like uh, on an adventure zone. Um, Rise and shine. Okay. So I managed to survive the. Onslaught of a red deck. Yeah, this is you've won this now. Um, oh, just to prove it, uh, another mountain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because of the life gain, there's no way that I'll be able to come back around. Oh, and then um, it's worse because these are my two essentially versions of the rack and shriek and affliction. So at the beginning of an opponent's upkeep, that player has one or fewer hands. Um, Davriel deals two damage to him. That's basically Shriek and Affliction, but one less damage. And then Liliana, Waker of the Dead, is very close to the other Lily, which I can't remember the name of. Um, which is each player. Liliana of the Veil. Liliana of the Veil. Each Sorry. player discards a card. No, it's fine. And then the added bit to this is each opponent who can't discard a card loses three hit points. Um. And then minus three is target creature gets minus X minus X to number of cards in my graveyard, so it'd just be three at this point. Um, which Lily the Veil is to target opponent just sacrifices a creature. Uh, the the la uh, ultimate of the cards are very different to each other, but. Um... I lost your audio for a second then. 
Well, I'm definitely not muted, so that time. Um, uh, it might be my headphones running out, so I'll just be conscious of it if you, if you suddenly stop hearing me. That'll be why. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but because I managed to hide the onslaught, I now swing for lethal. Um, so yeah, I, I do enjoy this deck. Um, I've climbed a bit in ranked because of it. Um, but yeah, hopefully we explained a little bit of Magic more for people who don't play Magic. And it might be interested in playing it. Arena is free to play. So what happens is you'll get daily quests and you can earn free gold. And then you get a gold counter up here. And then you go to the store. Um, and then you can... Oh, when the server's loaded. You can buy packs from core sets going backwards so it doesn't have to just be core 2021 um, and then the orange are in historic play and then it also has gems but that's to pay with real money so I kind of avoid that my biggest tip would to be is to save up 5,000 of your gold coins it's 10,000 yeah. no no quick drafts out now so oh okay yeah yeah it was gonna be going to do it so you pay for this you draft around six 45 cards because it's free booster packs and you get more cards than if you just bought a pack from the shop so and then if you win your games you get packs and gems that's, that's a good question how, how much is a pack to buy in, in coins a thousand I mean, it's a thousand to buy a thousand so you pay so you actually lose in a pack no because in a pack you don't get 15 cards Oh, yes. Um, yeah. So that's why it's more beneficial to do a draw. And then you get to experience the set that's currently out. Um, yeah. So there's two ty different types of drafts on at the moment. Uh, which, this one's more expensive, but you get a bigger reward because it jumps from two to three wins. And unfortunately, I only got two wins when I played. So I lost out on 750 gems. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like. As always, the uh, website should be linked in as well if you fancy having a look at that. So, thank you very much, and it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Yeah, reminded me of two, two Ronnies that did. Alright, see you later. <laughs>